this uh, batch of fish that have come off these pilings have all been in about five feet of water. So pretty shallow. Oh, that's a, that's big. Oh, oh, wow. Oh my gosh, that might be my new PB. I'm not even joking. Well, good morning and welcome back everybody and or anybody. Or if you're new here, my name is Christian and this is Make Time for Fishing. I'm gonna be doing some sheep's head fishing today, which is near and dear to my heart. It's probably my favorite type of fishing uh, to do around here. And uh, it's pretty consistent, but I haven't done it in about two months or so. So we're gonna be trying to figure some stuff out. Got a couple dozen uh, good fiddler crabs in the marsh to start out with today. Uh, around low tide, which is in two, two and a half hours, I might go and get some mud crabs as well, flipping over some rocks on the bank. I've only got one combo with me today. I'm gonna be fishing under and around docks in tight spaces so it's best to not have a lot of rods getting in the way anyway i'm making my way out to the first spot thank you so much for watching if you do enjoy the video please remember to make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when i put up new videos wish me luck i'm just trying to have some fun not keeping any fish today just catch and release see if we can get some and uh, hopefully some big ones thanks for watching okay let's take a look at our bucket here like i said i got a good number of fiddler crabs i also have some marsh crabs too and uh, i'm going to start out fishing a little ledge here that um, I marked a good amount of fish on, and it's certainly deep enough for there to be sheep's head. So let's find that drop. See that? Big old drop. And right down there, there's a bunch of fish hanging off the ledge. Oh. Well, I just got cleaned out. Don't know if it was a sheep's head or a pin. If I think it's a pin, I won't spend too much time with them, but. Oh, a little red at least. Not quite the size I'm going for, but sure, I'll take you rather than a croaker. All right, let's have a little look, see if anyone's home. I think it's a little red. I don't know, it's a little sheep. This is the target species here. Not the size we want though, but first sheep I've caught in a few weeks, maybe a month or two. Little puppy drum. Nice, a little sheep, right where he was supposed to be, that's cool. A little improvement on the first one, heading in the right direction at least. Felt like a decent fish. Let's see if we can get another bite. I don't think I really hooked him. Ooh. Better, definitely a better sheep. I don't think he's giant, but I bet he's a keeper. Nice. Biggest sheep of the day. I think he's 13, 14, which is keeper in uh, South Carolina would be pushing it, I think. So I'll go with 13. I don't think he was a keeper yet. A little puppy drum again. Wow. I think it's a black drum. 
Yeah. Oh, man, that's a lot stronger than that little redfish I just caught. It's not a big black drum, but they're so much stronger. It's a cool looking one. Probably like a 17 inch black drum. They look a lot like a sheep's head when they're this small with the stripes and everything, but their teeth, they have no teeth, they're just gums, and they have a little barbel under their chin. All right, let's see if anyone else is down here, or if you just scared everyone off with that little uh, fight around the pole we had. Finding a lot of sheep, but not any big ones yet. This is a good start for the uh, fiddlers. This is my umpteenth little puppy drum today. Hopefully eventually I can find a big guy. This uh, batch of fish that have come off these pilings have all been in about five feet of water. So pretty shallow. Oh, that's a, that's big. Okay, that's slightly bigger than what I've been catching before this. I need to get my rod around this piling. I need to keep some tension. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a monster sheep's head. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm shaking right now. I'm so worried he's gonna break me. I'm loosening up a little bit. Can't get him. <laughs> oh my gosh, that might be my new PB. I'm not even joking. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that. There's no way that's not bigger than 24. Okay, let's keep him in the water. I just upgraded my biggest of the day from about 13 to maybe 25 or 26. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I don't know what to say about this fish right here. I think this might just be my biggest sheep's head ever. Um, I'm just gonna hold it up and measure him and get him back healthy. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, I am shaking. Look at the size of this thing. The little sheep sticker jig right in the roof of his mouth. I'm at a loss for words. Let's just get him on the board, see what he measures. 24 and a half inch sheep's head. I, I think that might be my PB. I honestly can't remember if my old one was 24 or 24 and a half. Oh my goodness. This is such a big fish. He's already starting to kick. I wanna give him a second. I want him to kick completely away from me. Okay, come on, buddy. Oh, come on, there he goes. I was so sure that was a giant drum that just popped it. Five feet of water, just a little fiddler crab. It's a good day. I can go home now, but I'm gonna keep fishing. Hopefully we can find some more big ones. Look at that. There's some pretty solid chafe almost all the way up the line. Oh my gosh, it's chafed right here and the knot is right there. If it had chafed on the braid, that fish would have been gone. I would have just thought I lost a pretty decent redfish. Okay, and so preemptively, because I know this question's coming in the comments, this is uh, my combo today. I know I said it in the intro, but because some people like to skip the intro, here, this is a five foot 11 toadfish convict rod. It's medium power, extra fast tip. 
Uh, have that paired up with a 3000 series spinning reel from Toadfish as well with the power knob and 15 pound braid. And then on the business end, I have three feet of 20 pound fluorocarbon leader going to a half ounce sheep sticker jig from Bel Air Jigs. And then of course as bait, I had a, a little fiddler crop. Okay, just got um, maybe two, three dozen uh, mud crabs here. Hopefully that'll uh, carry us through for a while. A little guy. I feel like that last one I caught could have eaten that guy. Okay, so since we're at slack tide, uh, current should be starting to come in about 15 minutes or so, um, but right now it's really just completely still. So I decided to put on a split shot rig. Didn't put a crack in this one. Just trying to see what happens here. Oof. Yeah, I don't think that's anybody we want. Whoa. Oh, okay, I lied. I swear I was getting pinfished at first. This one has some great colors on him. The greens up here, purples around the eyes. They also taste delicious too, but I already had some fish this week. From, I got some flounder last weekend and uh, also some spade fish. If you haven't seen that video, that was a good one. Did some inshore and offshore on the same trip. I'm actually impressed by the number of sheep's head we're getting today. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, that's a black drum. Huh, nice. About the same size as that one I got earlier. This one really looks like a sheep. Oop. <laughs> nice. Three drops in a row, three fish. Second black drum of the day. It's a good sheep. It's a good sheep. Not like the first, not like that big one, but it's a good one. Be a good keeper. We even get a little bigger for the next time I catch them. Still on the split shot rig, but the current is starting to come up, so I'll probably switch soon. It's probably about a 14 and a half, 15 incher. Keeping size here, as I believe I said earlier, is 14. He'd be a small keeper, but these fish have such thick fillets, you can really get a lot of meat off of one fish. Even one this size, we can get a, a full meal off of for two people. Oh, oh, wow. Really hope there's no ropes under there. It's nice red. <laughs> Been a while since I caught a red like that. Man, this guy is strong. I don't think he's gonna be that big, but he's really fighting.
Come on, come on, keep your head up. Oh, he's in my drive. Ah, oh, jeez. He's in my drive right now. Okay, he came out of the drive. But now my net's over there, because I dropped it. Maybe I can swim him into my net. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just put the fish grips on and I'll grab my net after. Okay. Nice fish. Okay, let's pop this hook out of his top lip. Just this tiny little hook. Look at that, it's like the size of his eyeball. Okay, let's get this guy back. Or does he have a line in him? Oh, he's got a line in him. Let's see if I can get that out. I'll cut the line off him, but uh, I don't want to try to rip that out. There you go, come on, I need you to kick off. Okay, you ready? I think he's ready. There he goes. Oh, you kayak fisherman, do yourself a favor. Get yourself a floating net. Current's starting to flow again, so I decided to switch back to the uh, half ounce jig. This one came in the deepest water today, I believe. About, well, I guess it's only seven feet. This would be like a really ideal keeper, probably about 17 to 18. That's really, 18 is my ideal keeper, I think. Jig is out. Okay, well that was a pretty sweet, relatively short trip. I was out here about four and a half, five hours fishing. Caught a whole bunch of crab eaters today. Uh, Red drum, black drum, bunch of sheep's head, which was the target. Man, that big sheep's head, obviously the highlight of the day, 24 and a half inches. That was either my PB or tied my PB. I'm gonna have to look back. I'll put it on the screen, whichever it is. Links to all the stuff I was using today are down in the description. Um, if you wanna check out any of the toadfish stuff, I have a promo code below, MT4F10. That gets you 10% off your orders, and it helps support me. I get a little kickback from that as well. But thank you all so much for watching. I'm gonna get out of here now. Uh, remember to make some time for fishing, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.